The suit of cups governs emotion and intuition. It is dreamy, gentle and romantic and speaks to our soul in a way that is fluid, mutable and psychic. That's what I wrote about the cups in the booklet that goes with the painted tarot. And all of the cards in the suit of cups have blue tones in them and water um, is the governing element, obviously, of cups. So water is a huge feature of all of the, the paintings that I made. As with all of the, um, the cards in the painted tarot, each one originated as a full scale painting and many of them were inspired by my work with dancers. Um, in this case, the aces were um, conceived after spending some time with two young dancers, Giorgia Perozzi and Molly Danter, who were apprentice dancers at the time and who have now gone on to be professional dancers. Um, they helped me to get the correct motion and fluidity and newness that I felt was really important for the aces. So I'll just take you through the suit now. This is the ace. The two of cups. Again, I worked with dancers, different dancers this time, um, through the Joan Cleville Dance Company. In reality, these um, these dancers were holding each other and, and she was actually off the floor. So there's just a real sense of togetherness and motion and fluidity. The Three of Cups always makes me think of my two beautiful sisters. And here we have the water that, that flows through us all. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. In the original Rider Waite Five of Cups, some of the cups are spilled, but I didn't want that for my Five of Cups because I wanted it to be more hopeful. Yeah, she's looking back. Yeah, she's full of regret, but there are signs of hope. And these hummingbirds that punctuate all of the tarot cards um they're they're my symbol of hope and renewal so i wanted to to put them in my five of cups it's blanched of color because i think that's how you feel sometimes isn't it when you're when you're disappointed about something six of cups when i was painting this i was trying to remember you know childhood memories and and the devotion that you can feel for um for people when you're a child, it's that pureness, isn't it? That pure devotion. Hopefully you can see that in the gaze between these two figures. Seven of Cups. The dreamy, watery Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. This was another one that was inspired by dancers. Um, this particular dancer was called Solène and she is the most incredible dancer. Um, and she works with Joan Cleville Dance Company. I wanted this card to be very much about dancing through moving on. The Eight of Cups can be, you know, about moving on from a relationship, from a period in your life, and but moving on because it's the right time to move on. And I really felt that um, very strongly when I was painting this. I painted it at the end of the year. I can't remember what year. I think it was 2018. And it just felt like, you know, things were changing and um, I wanted it to be joyful. But, there, you know, the Eight of Cups always has a little bit of um, sorrow associated with it. But it's more like a bittersweet sorrow. And you can see here in her hair there's the infinity symbol, um, which just reminds me that energy is never lost. It just gets regenerated and used in a different way. And in the centre here you can see there are some knots. I'm very interested in knots, and these are um, fishermen's knots. I don't know the exact names of them, but it's this idea that, you know, whatever it is inside you, it's this entanglement of um, pain and knots. But if you just keep, you know, dancing metaphorically, then uh, you'll be able to unravel them. The Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups. I've put lots of flowers in the Ten of Cups, as well as this watery idea. 
page of cups. This is based on a friend of my daughter's who is the most beautiful person. Um, I painted him when he was about 10, I think. And um, he had this really cool hairstyle. And it's deliberately androgynous, um, as I feel the pages are. And the cups are within his body. And um, he embodies all of the softness and uh, care that the Page of Cups gives to you. The Knight of Cups. This is really quite a romantic um, depiction of the Knight of Cups, you know. She's on her quest. You can see the water is, is, uh, is cascading down and the cups have this lovely pink colour in them just to show that this, this is full of romance and love, this Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. This is actually the second version of the seat of the Queen of Cups. The first one stayed in the deck for a long time, uh, and then at the last minute I painted this one, uh, which I thought was a better fit. And uh, yeah, she's kind of looking over her shoulder, and there's lots of detail here. In the original painting, you can see it probably more clearly, but there there is uh, waves and and uh, you know very fluid abstract symbols and in her um, in her crown you can see the stars Oops. and the king of cups i chose to do all of the kings uh, in black and white because i wanted them to be uh, a very sort of stark foil to their colorful queens i wanted them to embody that sense of directness and completeness that the kings represent um, and I also wanted them to just be a little bit uh, hard, you know, just not in a bad way, but just an uncompromising hardness. And uh, that's why they're black and white. I'm, I'm asked the question a lot, why didn't you put colour into the kings? And it's something that I might revisit at some point, but um, at the moment they are still black and white. So that's the suit of the cups. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, check out the other videos of the other suits and the major arcana. Thanks for watching.